All right, everyone, it's Brandon again, and today I wanted to give another quick update on the JavaScript ray casting engine that I've been posting about, because uh, I have made some progress over the last few days. One of the coolest things is I can actually save my work now on the editor, which is a big deal. I got my little testing map here, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it and show you some of the new things I've added. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show off is dynamic lighting. Not only do I have dynamic lighting, but it's also in color. So in this corner here, I got a pulsating orange light. In this corner here, I have a random blinking red light. So that's cool. Uh, one thing I added is for transparent textures, you can now see through them on each side. I got doors working. Um, here's some more transparency, another door. And of course you got a floor here, so the floor casting is working pretty good. I can go out here. <clears throat> here I have a white light that's just solid. And I got a floor and ceiling casting going in this room. Here I got some particle effects, you can see. Some sparks coming off of the screen. That also shows off not only the dynamic lighting, but you can see the little particle sprites. And another cool thing is light maps for wall textures. It also works on flooring, but um, you can have light or uh, walls that actually glow in the dark that uh, use their own light map as opposed to the ambient lighting, which is pretty cool. So you can have a totally dark room and still have lights on a wall. Another thing I've added is um, on the engine, the game tries to run at 60 FPS, which for a Raycaster in JavaScript is not easy to do. So while you're playing, it automatically adjusts the resolution to uh, depending on what's going on in the scene to get as close to 60 FPS as possible. And um, so it's pretty good and it happens very quick while you're playing and you really don't notice much change when the resolution bumps. Uh, the player can also override this themselves if they don't care about 60 FPS and they just want a higher resolution they can do that. But I also, in order to get more performance, I added a um, interlaced mode to it which I can turn on right now and you might notice it looks a little worse but you can get higher resolution from it. What it does is every other scene it draws half of the scene kinda like an old video interlace mode so um, effectively each scene you're only drawing half of the rays and uh, I can get quite a bit more performance out of it that way so those are just some of the things I've added to the ray caster. I've gone over uh, the floor and ceiling casting. I think I got all the bugs worked out of both of those, as well as with the transparent textures and the half walls and the doors. I got the dynamic lighting, which colored lighting, which you don't see in a lot of ray casters, which is really cool. You got the pulsating, the flickering, and the solid lights, and also light maps um, for textures, which can work on floor and wall textures. So all in all, it's working pretty good. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions or comments about it, leave something down below. And as always, stay tuned to see what else I add to this cool ray casting engine. Bye for now.